right, so welcome back to our web development tutorial. And so today we're looking at uh, headings in HTML or HTML headings. All right, and, and so about headings, I came across an article which I think would be useful for you guys. I'll leave a link in the description. And so it's talking about headings and why they are important. And so a heading is um, a short phrase describing what succeeding section is all about. So you can think of it as the title of that particular section. And so a heading is more of a title of a given section. And so why different heading levels are needed. And so you will find out when you go through some text or some article, you will have different levels of headings. And why is this so? Some points are more important than others. And so assigning different heading levels is necessary to indicate their significance. And so if I want to put headings on my web page, how should I achieve that? So in HTML, we have uh, six different types of headings. We have the H1 up to H6. And so this is what I will be talking about. So I'm gonna write here, I am a heading and I have to duplicate these uh, a couple of times. Let me see, one, two, three, four, five. I need six of these and so yeah so now i'm going to convert this into an h2 and then the next one into an h3 and then the next one into an h4 and the next one into an h5 and then the last one into an h6 so these are the headings that we have in html we have uh h1 up to h6 and so if i'm to save this and uh check this out uh you will see for yourselves um obviously so this is um bigger than the next one and so uh it's getting smaller as the heading number becomes bigger or becomes larger and so h1 is the biggest and h6 is the smallest heading all right, so if I were to choose a random web page and we want to inspect and check their headings, uh, basics, this is a heading, motivation is a heading. And so I can guess by merely looking at this uh, text that this is H1 and this uh, could be H2. And so let's, let's do the inspection. So we can right click on an element like this one and click on inspect and check out what element was used, um, you know, to put this text. As, as we can see, rightfully so, I was right. This is H1, as you guys can see. Uh, basics is H1. Um, we'll, we'll talk about this information that you see in the opening tag. This is what we call attributes, but we are not yet looking at attributes. I'll talk about attributes later on um, in our forthcoming tutorials. And let's look at this uh, following heading, uh, motivation. Motivation is an H2 heading here, as you guys can see. And so H1, H2, and we have a couple of them here in this uh, text. And so you can see this one is also an H. Let me see. Uh, this is an H2 heading, yeah. So you, you uh, depending on what you're trying to achieve or what you're trying to do, uh, you will use these, uh, you know, accordingly. And so if you want your uh, article or your web page to have H2 headings, you know, you, you want to, sometimes you want to be consistent. And so you use, you know, the same type of heading like they did over here. And so they were trying to be consistent using this uh, H2 heading in many areas, you know, uh, here, I think this is also an H2. And if you go down, you'll find this is also an H2 and so forth. All right, so these are headings in HTML. You can explore much more information and, you know, understand how to use them. You know, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so, uh, leave a like, uh, leave a comment in the comment section and hope to see you in our next lesson. For now, I'm out, bye-bye.